In this video, I will show two ways to enable serial print for the ATtiny 85. I will use an ATtiny with the Snapduino bootloader that we made in the previous video. I will leave a link to that video in the description. The ATtiny 85, a great cheap and small microcontroller. And in the last video, we also enabled USB programming from the Arduino IDE. Now, even though we can program the ATtiny over USB, serial print still will not work. If you check the data sheets, you will see the ATtiny MCUs don't have a hardware UART, like the Atmega328 has, which is used in the Arduino Uno and Nano. So you cannot use the serial monitor just out of the box. Normally, I really like to use the serial print commands to debug my code. So how do we fix this? In this video, I will show two solutions for the ATtiny serial print. A simple solution with a standard library and a better solution which only needs one I.O. and also saves on memory. For this project, you will need the following. First, an ATtiny 85 with a bootloader for programming. Then an FTDI USB to serial converter. Some wires and a prototyping board. And a 10K resistor and a 100 nanofarad capacitor. Now first, you will need to build up the ATtiny circuit from the last video with a Snapduino bootloader. The link is in the description. The LED and 330 ohm resistor from last video are actually not needed anymore, but they will not influence this project, so I grade them out. So here we have the ATtiny85, and I open the Arduino IDE. Now we will look up the serial print example ASCII table. File, examples, communication, ASCII table. Then we select our ATtiny85. We go to Tools, Board, Snap Circuits, Snapduino. And we make sure we have the right clock, 8 MHz. The COM port is COM5 in my case. And then let's try to upload this sketch. Oh, so indeed that does not work because the serial was not declared in this scope. Well, now let's start to fix that. The first solution is to use the library Software Serial, which is standard available in the Arduino IDE. Let's open the Arduino IDE. I open the Arduino IDE so we can edit the code. First, we need to replace the serial command with another name, for instance, soft serial. This to prevent any confusion with the original serial print command. You can choose any name. So we say here serial, we change that to soft serial, and we just replace all of them. Then we include the library, include software serial dot h. And at last, we tell the software serial which pins are TX and RX. Software serial soft, that's the name we chose, serial one zero. Now let's compile again. So far so good. Now uploading is finished. So let's open the serial monitor to see if it works. Okay, so this now works perfectly okay. Great. Now 
let's check how much program memory is used. The sketch uses 2388 bytes, which is almost a third of the program storage. And 192 bytes of RAM are used out of 512 bytes. If that's okay with you, then you're done. You can just use this for debugging your code. However, if you are short on memory and IOs, there's a second solution which will free up one IO and quite some memory. For debugging, we actually only need to read. There's no need to send any data to the ATtiny. There are some libraries available online that offer read only. And the most simple one I found is from Nick Gammon. It is not directly available in the library manager, so we will need to install that via the zip library. So let me now explain the second solution, which saves on memory and IOs. To download the zip library, open your search engine and type Nick Gammon, send only software serial. And here's the GitHub page where you can find the zip library. I will leave a link in the description. Go to code and say download zip. So we downloaded the zip library. It's in your downloads folder. Then we go to the Arduino IDE, sketch, include library, add zip library. And then we find our zip library in downloads, open, and the library has been included. Now we need to adapt the sketch. Software serial becomes send only software serial. And the same down here, send only software serial. And of course we can delete the Rx pin because we don't need it anymore. Now let's compile again. Done uploading, let's test. And it works perfectly. Now, originally we used 2388 bytes minus 1458 bytes equals, so we saved 930 bytes of flash memory. And we only need to use one IO instead of two. Now with the Snapduino bootloader combined with the software serial, we can use the ATtiny just like a normal Arduino. You can upload sketches via the USB and you can use the serial monitor for debugging. If you are short on IOs and program memory, you can use the send only serial monitor library which saves you one I.O. and about one kilobyte of program memory. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know your experience in the comments.